Good morning, guys. I'm gonna show you a typical morning here for us since uh, COVID-19 started and we've been raising chickens. First things first, we gotta let these guys out because they're already complaining out here. And now we just added on a few more chicks. So a new update is that these guys ended up coming out here now instead of their elevated brooder that we set up for them over there in our other video. We decided to put them on the ground and bring them in here. Um, this run is predator proofed all around it. It's got um, hardware cloth all around it. So uh, a raccoon or a possum or a coyote wouldn't be able to scratch the way in here. But we're gonna let these guys out because they're starting to complain in there. Morning. Come on. Hi guys. Did you guys sleep good? Or did you stay up all night? Partying hard. Seems like no matter what time I look in there, um, some of them are asleep, but some of them are just running all over the place and eating and waking everyone up. Now we're gonna go light out the other flock that's in the back. Good morning. So I'm gonna get a pot of coffee started. While Ricardo does the first part of the chicken chores, we take turns, but whoever is letting the chickens out, the other one gets to make the coffee. So when we're done, we can come into a nice warm cup of coffee. nice and cool outside so it hits extra good. I love this time of year. Good luck. And the dogs are wishing that I would have fed them first but I gotta get the coffee started. It's okay guys, this will be brewing. Started. You guys want your nummies? Our dog Sarge has a really weird bowl because he likes to eat too fast and then throw up. <laughs> so this stops that. You can pick these up at like TJ Maxx, Ross, or eBay. Started this one from C. Just kind of rotate it to get a little even light. Now it's time to check on the babies. How is everybody? Did you guys get a good night's nice sleep? Yeah. This one's been getting pasty butt every now and then, so I need to check. Let me check to make sure. <laughs> Peach! Let me check to make sure that they have food and water. 
I like to replace their water daily. Sometimes I add apple cider vinegar in there. They're a probiotic. But Peach is a little afraid of the camera. They're getting so big. They're Bantams. So they're not pooping too much. They're kind of keeping this tote clean. Whereas the other chicks, when we had them in this tote, it was getting awful. We had to clean the tote every day. Even I wish we could have done it more often than that. But these guys are doing good in here. We could probably stay here a few more weeks. Yeah! Well, pumpkin's growing in. Getting pretty big there. We just ended up getting a couple, but they're looking pretty big. I mean, there's the size of my hand right there. Let's go to the back. So we have two flocks. <clears throat> We've already let out the ones in our front yard. Now we're going to go to the back and let these guys out too. Check for eggs, but likely they haven't laid today yet. Nope. They should lay a little bit closer to noon. And check on their water. Yep, that water is pretty low and dirty. So we're going to clean that out. <laughs> Mama's here. Duck started molting finally. Some duck feathers. Here. Oh, yeah, secret stash? Yeah. For the weaker, lesser pecking order one. So everybody can get a chance. Daisy will stay behind and eat at the picnic table so the others can <laughs> have their shot over here. She would stay at the picnic table, but she'll boss everyone around. Snipe's looking fuller. She might lay soon. Who? Snipe. Yeah. Look, her face is reddening and her body. She's looking fuller like a big fat hen. Yep. She's probably going to lay soon. Our crested chicken back there. We don't know what breed she is. She just started laying a brown egg. She just developed her comb and waddles and started laying last week. This water right here is getting pretty low. It's pretty dirty. We come out here every night, or every morning, I mean. Dump out the mud. But this one, since it's about here, we're just going to go ahead and clean it out and put some new water in there. It's going to have fresh water the whole rest of the day. Run. Is Daisy so Duck's fault? The duck gets the water so dirty. We have this little outdoor sink that we installed out here because I hated going inside the house just to wash my hands and things like that. And then now for this kind of thing, it's perfect because we could just rinse it out at the sink, fill it back up. So I'm just gonna dump this out. And start fresh. Scrub it out. Do this every other day or so. We check on the water every day but it seems like I'm having to fill it about every other day I like to do it in the morning so they start off with a fresh set of water and it's nice and cool if it happens to heat up during the day I kind of hate these things you got to line them up just right Try it again. <laughs> there it goes. Turn this around. And now our chickens, our roosters, and our duck will have fresh water back there all day. 
They don't like the wind? It's our first fall day here today. It's just windy, but they're usually not in here. They're, they spend the day outside just free ranging. Maybe they're just feeling lazy like I am today. Our new feeder that I love, Grandpa's feeder. For we had a score problem where they were coming in here and eating all their food and we were having to buy food like, God, like five times more than we do now. We got this Grandpa feeder now. A squirrel's not heavy enough to make this thing open, but when the chickens come over here, they step on it, and it opens, so they're able to eat, and then it shuts it by itself. It's cut down our cost quite a bit now that we've got this grandpa feeder. Do you know something I don't know? Why is everybody hiding out? I didn't hear a hawk. Hmm. By the time we're back from back there, it gives them some time to forage and eat some of the real food and maybe some grass in our grazing boxes. Now it's time for their snack. Yes, Tish, it's coming. lots of bullets right now so I want to make sure everyone gets a chance so I like to spread it around. Some little hidden ones for them to get later. And we've decorated for fall. I love decorating for the holidays. Everybody's happy. These are laying ladies. Hey, good girl. Excited to see her egg. French black copper marrons, mm -hmm. or what? French black copper marrons, right? Or what, what did we find out? But we saw pictures of the egg she hatched out of, and it was really dark. And then right there, that's Ghost. She's supposed to be an olive egg, and she came out of a really, really cool egg and dark green. She's supposed to be a blue cup of Marans mixed with a Swedish ice bar. She's beautiful. Yeah. And her feathers are so soft, she feels like a down pillow. She's just like luxurious. Oh no! <laughs> and that's Dorothy. She's in charge. Top of the pecking order, our red sex link. She's, she's a fair leader though. She's wise and fair. <laughs> and there's feathers everywhere in the yard. Molting season. It seems as soon as we pick them up, there's another pile there. Ten seconds later. Look at the wind just blew them right over there. <clears throat> Check this water. That's pretty full. Cool. We don't have that many birds in our garden coop, so the water lasts a long time. So it gets extra dirty in between.
We're just hanging out. I'm not slacking on my chores. Oh, someone's gonna go lay already. There she goes. That's one of our new recently pullets that started laying about a week ago too, huh? And she's a full grown hen now. Water's out. Yeah. I don't always put this in there, but it's been a while since I have, so I figure it's time. It's a nice little supplement, good for their digestive system, got a lot of healthy bacteria in there for them. Or sometimes I just do a little probiotic packet, but <laughs> the dogs are playing. What do you guys want? You guys want some chicken food? Some Get little baby here. chick food? They love it. Get out of here. You guys need a bath and a good grooming. Tell your mama. You can do it too. <laughs> guys, baby chicks are eating a lot right now. Seems like I'm always filling this up. Might be time for a bigger feeder. We're gonna go ahead and pour the coffee that Kelly brewed this morning for us already. Check out this cool mug. It just seems like it's a Star Wars cup with a lightsaber's handles, but check this out. Today really kind of feels like the first day of fall. It's nice and cool. In the high desert, it's been really hot, and I've been having to water a lot, but I finally just started watering once a day. It's been really nice. This is my morning water routine, and it finally is just a morning water routine. I started on my fall garden, and these cool weather plants have really started thriving. All these carrots have germated. Once they get a little bigger, I'll thin them out, but we planted these a couple weeks ago, and I'll link it in the description of uh, starting the fall garden, but pretty exciting. They all really germated really well. You can really tell the difference in the types of cucumbers. See, here's a slicer, and here's a pickling one. It already looks like a big, fat little pickle. I've been checking them for aphids. The aphids have been attacking me nonstop. I need to spray them down with some neem oil, but just spraying them all off with the hose also works really well. But aphids have been completely attacking me this whole summer. What you got there? Did you find anything good? When the sunflowers were blooming, they were so beautiful. I love them so much, but they really pittered out and now we're letting them turn to seed. Some chicken snacks, but they've already been snacking on them. 
Oh look, the hot burrito's making a bunch of flowers. We planted these roses in the early summer, so since they're new plants and they're not established yet, I'm kind of watering them a little more often. But I just let the hose here and let them get a deep soak. I was doing it every day in the hottest summer, but now it's just every three days seems to be pretty good. I need to deadhead some of these. Rose petals are really beneficial to chickens, so whenever I deadhead my roses or my marigolds or anything, I like to give it to them. And they love them. The pole's gotta go sneak their share and run off with it. <laughs> run! Go! <laughs> and then after we're finished with all of our chicken chores, we typically like to sit back, enjoy a cup of coffee, and watch our babies play. We call it the chicken TV. And then we'll get to breakfast, but yeah. we'll, we'll sit here and drink coffee until it gets cold and we heat it up again. And it gets cold again and heat, heat it up again. And maybe brew some more. Because <laughs> we're distracted <laughs> watching our chickens play, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll get to breakfast in a bit. We just want to get our chores done in the morning right away. Yeah. Birds wake up early, and so do chicken tenders. You're a chicken tender. Mm -hmm. Not you. <laughs> You're a chicken nugget then. <laughs> Quite possibly.